Remember you promised to give me a lift. We need to leave. some breakfast. They'll keep. So I thought this morning we Actually, could... Actually, I need a favour. Come to the funeral directors with me. Well, if you'd like. But shouldn't that be a family member? They've delegated it to me pretty much like everything else and you've done it before. Ah, oh, that's true. I do know the ropes. Thanks. So who have you gone with? Fletcher and Green. They sounded nice enough on the phone but I reckon they're all the same. Oh, I'm sure they'll be fine. So, any idea of a budget yet? Oh, it's all sorted. That's good. One less thing to worry about. Yeah. Between us, we've managed to raise nearly a grand, so we can afford to give Mum a really lovely send-off. Ah, uh, good morning, Dr Carter. Morning. Sister Khalil. Who? Oh, yeah. Well, oh, that had me confused for a minute. Yes, well, I'm sure in time we will, we will all adjust. Let's hope so. Yeah, morning. I'm here to see Dr. Carmichael, Irene Ambrose. Good morning, Mrs. Ambrose. Oh, I, I see you have been baking again. Oh, Dr. Carmichael likes a little treat. Uh, yes, he does. And how are you, Mr. Ambrose? Oh, I'm just a chauffeur. Oh, always so charming. I am to please. <laughs> Mrs. Ambrose, do come through. Shall I? If it's OK with you, might be good for moral support. No, I'll see the doctor in my uh, okay. Can I get you a tea, coffee? Oh, yes, please. Okay. No, I'm fine. I'm very sorry about your loss. I know it's a very difficult, stressful time, so I'm going to try and make it as easy, as simple as possible. Thank you. So, uh, do you know if Bren had a funeral plan at all? Did she ever talk about what she wanted? Uh, the death was very sudden and unexpected. I understand. If it's OK, I'm going to start filling out a few details. You told me over the phone you'd like a cremation. So there are two options, St Agnes or Abbey Grove. Abbey Grove. It's near our old house. Have you thought about what type of service you'd like? Is it to be a religious or civil? Mum wasn't really religious, but a church would be nice. My dad had a lovely service at the crematorium chapel. None of that hell and damnation stuff. I can recommend a very good celebrant. Thanks. What about flowers? Uh, would you like people to send them, or prefer they make a donation to your mum's favourite charity? Flowers. Lily's a mum. Lily's a mum's favourite. Do you need a moment? It's a lot to take in. I just want to do a priority you now. We're going to make sure that happens. Bren gets the funeral she deserves. You really shouldn't have. Oh, it's nice to have someone who appreciates it. Aren't you going to try some? I'll save it for my tea break. You do know why I asked you to come and see me this morning. It wasn't the promise of cake. St Phil's have been trying to reach you. Oh, I've had such a lot on. You failed to attend your follow-up appointment to find out the results of your ultrasound and MRI. Oh. I'm sorry. It must have slipped my mind. Are you sure you wouldn't really rather have William in here with you? No. No. Tell me the worst. OK, well, of course, we can't be certain until the lump is removed. But it does look like ovarian cancer, as we feared. I'm sorry. The good news is that it hasn't spread to your organs, and so there's a good chance that they can treat it. Take your time, I know it's a shock. Do you have any questions? 
Anything you'd like to ask me? Okay, so I am going to call the hospital and make another appointment so that you can talk things through with your gynecologist. And when I hear from them, I'll call you later. Is that okay? Oh, that's very kind. You do have to promise me that you will attend this appointment. Uh, the Tupperware. I'll pick it up in my next visit. So the ones on the left are all veneered. Slightly less elaborate, but still very respectful. And these? Uh, all solid wood with various embellishments. They look nice. What do you think? Well, well it depends. Um, are they much more expensive? A little, yes. If it'll help with your decision, I can give you a rough idea on the cost so far. It's fine. I'll go with that one. It's a good choice. Um, yeah, but just for a guide, like you say. Um, how much is it? Five hundred pounds. Five hundred pounds? That's nearly half my budget. You know, in my experience, some of the most beautiful funerals are also the simplest. Yeah? We have a package that might suit. It includes uh, care of the deceased, a coffin, and a non-attended direct cremation. Non-attended? Some families prefer not to have an official service. They organise something more personal and meaningful elsewhere. Is that right? Alternatively, we can help you with a payment plan, advise you on any means-tested benefits available. So we're all on the social now? No. Is this how you treat all your customers? I wanted you to know that you have options. You see, the average cost of a funeral is around four times what you mentioned. I get it. One funeral for the rich, another for the poor. And now I'm sure that's not what Jonathan meant. You've seen them, haven't you? The track marks. What? Because my mum used to take drugs, you think you can judge us? Your mother's body was only released to us yesterday. I haven't seen anything. Yeah, well, when you do, take a good look. Because my mum didn't die of some overdose. She was a victim of police brutality. So what she deserves is a proper funeral, with proper respect. You got that? I wanted to hear from Dr. Carmichael first, but it's more serious than I thought. William, you have to listen to me. How could he treat me like that? It's not fair. I know, I know. Think of Howard and his funeral. Well, best not to compare. Fleet of cars, food and drink on tap. I mean, how much did all that cost? You can still give your mum something just as meaningful. Really? Because right now it just feels like she's being humiliated over and over again. you like. William, I... Oh, how is Nursley? Not great, to be honest. Oh, well, I'm sorry to hear that. What happened? Well, we went to the funeral parlour to start planning, you know, and it all got a bit fraught. Well, things are about to be raw. Yes, well, I hope they are treated with kindness. Oh, yeah, no, the guy was really nice, but... Aisha got a bit upset when she realised how much it was going to cost. Well, how much does she need? At least double what she's got now. Well, we'll have a, a work round, right? Myself out. William. William. Sister Khalil. No. 
No, 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 your appointment hasn't been changed. It, if you just... Oh, dear. Uh, Sister Cleal, is she a new agency nurse? Uh, no, it is the uh, name Sister Hanif has chosen. I thought she was going to go with Carter. Mm, apparently not. Well, it's a right old faff, if you ask me. Yes, well, I'm sure it will all be resolved. I am um, just popping out to the bank. That reminds me, actually. Money. Thank you, kind sir. <laughs> I'm sure she'll appreciate it. Yeah, hope so. She's not exactly my biggest fan at the moment. Really? How come? Uh, misunderstanding. Well, the most important thing at the moment is that Aisha knows we're there for her. Yeah. Yeah. Zara, has Daniel told you that we're having a little appeal for Bren's funeral? Oh, he did mention it, yes. He has been very generous. Generous? How generous? That was nothing, really. Okay, it was the real number. Out of your mind. The money that Daniel gave you, that, that was from both of us. <laughs> Why? Why leave me standing out there all that time? Just to be cruel. If you're going to listen to me, I have cancer, do you hear? Fine. You still won't speak. But you can write, can't you? Write something at least. OK, I'll answer for you. Annie, bins, dinner, ten years of this, your selfishness. All the things that have happened in that time, things I might have wanted to share. Everyone met with deafening silence, but no more, no more, no more! <gasps> William? It's Dr. Carmichael. How are you feeling? Feeling? After your news. I, I know it takes a while to sink in. I've got you an appointment to see your gynaecologist. What for? Well, to discuss the next stage of your treatment. It's on Wednesday, is that all right? Oh, I, I really don't know. I can try and change it. I burnt the lunch, you see. Are you sure everything's OK? Should I make something else? Oh, I honestly can't think right now. Well, I'm sure William won't mind. Today of all days. His eyes. They look so weird, like glass. Uh, what do you mean? Has something happened to William? Uh, I, I'm fine, dear. Why don't I pop over as soon as I've seen my last patient? Oh, there's really no need. It's no trouble. In fact, I insist. You've been so patient. I I'm sorry. Water off a duck's back. Quack. <laughs> but still, it needs to be settled, which is why I think I've come up with the perfect idea. Go on. OK, we make up a name together. As it is. Yeah, you know, to mark our marriage. Where do we get this surname? Well, think of the possibilities, Heston. Uh, you could use one of those street name generators like uh, MC Rheumatic in it. <laughs> Very funny. OK, serious head on. How about something that, you know, featured your shared profession? Not a bad idea. A lot of surnames originally derived from people's work. Mm. I mean, yours clearly comes from noble stock. If you say so. Yeah. Carter, he who transports goods via cart. <laughs> or uh, some other ideas, uh, Doctor and Sister Bones. Or Doctor Payne and Sister Boyle. OK, we'll let you know. Yeah, you've had your fun, boys. And uh, apart from being really silly names, they're, they're way too anglicised. OK, how about this? Apparently that is the Gujarati translation of Carter. I've never heard of this word before. I think you might be onto something. Go on, read it out. Uh, OK. Katara. Sister Katara. Are you serious? Yeah, I am, actually. I think we might have a winner. Oh, you're welcome. What, what, what is that your final decision? Katara. Oh, are you saying it is now safe for me to order those leaflets? Yeah. That's the one. Rumour and Heston, Katara. I 
I thought I'd return this. Oh, hope you didn't come all this way for that silly old thing. I said I'd pop by, remember? Is it all right if I come in? The cake was lovely, by the way. Irene? Getting the kind of news you did earlier can be hard. It's bound to leave you feeling confused. Yes, thank you, dear. How did William take the news? Where is he? Is he here? Uh, he's gone out. Are you OK? Where's your kitchen? Why don't I make us a cup of tea? Tea bags. That is a lot of notes. Oh, they're Williams. Does he have trouble recalling things? No, not particularly. So why does he need them? He likes things done just so. Isn't that his stick? I thought you said he'd gone out. Oh. What? What is it? On the steps and oh, his wretched newspaper. Slow down and try and tell me what happened. Enough. Told him. Didn't care. I, I don't understand. Not sorry. Sorry for what? Pushing him. William, can you hear me? Can you hear me, William? You tell them, the police. The police? I'm calling for an ambulance. Mm -hmm. oh, he's still alive. Oh, Valerie. I am. Uh, I wanted to give you this to pass on to Aisha. Gosh. I mean, wow. <laughs> thought Daniels was generous, but this is... Well, Aisha's got enough problems without worrying about money. Mm. Might help build a few bridges as well. Sorry, what do you mean? Things seem a bit frosty between you and Aisha. But you should really give her this. No, 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 you've done all the hard work. But it was your idea. It's better coming from you. They're just doing some tests. He'll be back soon. Funny. For once, his not speaking is a good thing. How do you mean? Well, he's not said anything to the doctors. I'm used to it, of course. Used to what? The silent treatment. Not a single word. Just over ten years now. He... He hasn't spoken to you in all that time. Why? Uh, what on earth could be so terrible that it would be punished like that? The worst thing about it is I can barely remember. I think it was some stupid argument about lunch or something. That's all? I suppose the longer it went on, the more he couldn't back down. His pride. Pride's no excuse. How have you lived together for ten years? Oh. The post-it notes. After a while, you start thinking it's normal. Being given instructions. Treated like nothing you do or say matters. Of course it matters, Irene. You matter. At the start, I was angry. I wanted to scream at him. I think secretly he enjoyed it. The feeling of power. Of course, nothing I did made any difference. So then you start thinking, there's something wrong with me. Something not right to make him do that. OK, this is not your fault. Uh, what William's doing is coercive behaviour. It's a form of abuse. Most of the time, I, I feel like I'm invisible. It's the loneliness that's the worst bit. Living in the same house as someone 
who doesn't care when they see you having a little cry, or you've hurt yourself, or when you tell them you have cancer. <laughs> Irene, I am so sorry. Have you got anyone else who can support you? A brother, a sister, a friend? No. Why are you asking? Because you're going to need help to get through the next few months. Yes. And from what you're telling me, that's not William. What choice do I have? There are options. There is support available. There's a domestic abuse counsellor right here in this hospital. And, and what? I'd have to leave me home? I'm not saying it's going to be easy, of course, but you cannot continue to live... I'll leave you to talk. I'm going to pop in on my way home. Can't wait to see Aisha's face. Yeah. Um, remember, I'm working late, so I'll look up. Don't work too hard. <laughs> Just, I'm falling for some online translation. I can't believe how... So there's no online Gujarati translation? No. I've looked, I've asked around, nada. What a shame. Yeah. Something wrong. Well, I'll just be in his usual self and having a joke at somebody else's expense. Well, not just yours. What about the leaflets? Oh, Mrs Tempe. I've given up so much for you. When we married, you convinced me to stop nursing. You never wanted children. Said they'd be too noisy, get under your feet. But what about me, William? I wanted a house filled with noise and laughter. Instead, you filled it. And every time you wouldn't speak, I could feel a little piece of my heart hardening. Even now, you still can't do it. I'm sorry. I know. Trouble is, that little bit of love's all I've got left. And I need it for me now. I can't give you any more. What about me? What will I do? I don't know. You'll have to work that out for yourself. Goodbye, William. <laughs> Do you mind if we just talk for a minute at first? Sure. Basically, I had this argument with Eve yesterday because I wouldn't side with her against Emma. Oh, that's a hard one. Yeah. Don't whatever I do. Uh, you know she's not angry at you, right? I still feel terrible. She'll come around. Besides, who could uh, resist you? Couldn't face going out again after all that this morning. Well, hopefully this will cheer you up. What is it? Money for the funeral. Everyone's been so generous. By everyone, do you mean Emma too? Well, yeah. Take it. What? It's blood money. I want nothing to do with it. I don't understand. I would rather bury my mum in a plastic bag on the Churchill wreck than take a penny from her. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, lads. <laughs> I can't do it. What is it now? Look, last night, Ish made some comment about me sitting on the fence. And look, I'm doing it now. How? Do you remember that patient, the day of the wedding? Oh, the one that had the hots for you? Yeah, let's talk about her. <laughs> um, so what? <laughs> you really don't see it? Yeah, I think you're overthinking things again. Am I? Yeah, it's like this inner voice that you have that makes you question everything. Uh, it's one of the things I find really attractive about you. Yeah? Mm-hmm. 
but you shouldn't think that it's your fault that Aisha's having you know a rough time with her mum or, or that she's died. Yeah, I suppose. Doesn't mean don't empathise with her. I'm just saying you can't take everyone's problems on your shoulders. You gotta let it go. In the past, even you yourself have said this is wrong. Uh, yeah, I don't feel that way anymore. And I, I think that you feel the same way. seem right keeping it at home. I'm going to put it in the safe. <laughs> Sid? Sid? Oh, the poor thing, working so late. Mm. Honestly, I had absolutely no idea. What are you doing in there? <gasps> no, 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 I, I can explain. Kelly North, but it's not for me, it's for my son, Kieran. You did good. Everything's gonna be okay. For now. What did you say that for? No, oh, I didn't say anything. About the damp. We don't want them sticking their nose in, do we? Everything all right? Her mother's funeral will be tomorrow. Tomorrow? Also, she asked me to give you your money back. 